Hi, it's Corey, and today you're going to learn how to play Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. Super excited to have this tutorial for you guys. It's a really easy song that pretty much still has like all of the elements of the original minus like the trumpet parts. This is also my November song of the month. So that is a song that my Patreon community has voted on that they wanted to see made into a full tutorial. And then the runner up song is another Johnny Cash song, Folsom Prison Blues. That will be coming out later in the week as a play along. So thank you guys so much. And thank you specifically to my Patreon community for selecting this song. In particular, I just want to take a minute to thank my gold tier members. They really financially helped me to be able to make the videos for this channel. If you're at all interested in joining the Patreon community, it's awesome. It's also where I keep all of my lead sheets and all the additional resources that I have for my channel. So if you are either looking for a way to help support the channel or you just want access to all of those benefits, check out my Patreon. The link is in the description box. But thank you in particular to Rosemary Bristol, Glenn Clement, Perry Payne, Yuki, Stefan Ramirez, Nadia Rogers, Bradley Carter, Charlotte Ramiro, Alexander Olin, and Matthew Newton, as well as all my other gold tier members that prefer to stay anonymous. And then in general, just thank you so much to my Patreon community. You guys are awesome. But with that, let's get into the tutorial. To start, always make sure your ukulele is in tune. Today I'm going to be using this tenor ukulele. I have a low G on this just to give it a bit more of a country feel, but the tuning is still the same as a standard tuning of G on the fourth string. It's just an octave lower than potentially you have at home. Then there's a C on the third string, an E on the second string, and an A on the first string. For this song, we only need three chords and they're really beginner friendly. We're gonna be using the C major chord, the D major chord, and the G major chord, and that's it. So to make the C major chord, you're gonna take your third finger, then place it on the first string, third fret. To make the D major chord, it's gonna be all on the second fret here. You're gonna start with your first finger, place it on the fourth string. Your second finger is gonna go on the third string, and then your third finger is going on the second string. And then finally for the G chord, what you're gonna do is start with your first finger, place it on the third string, second fret. Your second finger is going on the second fret, first string, and then your third finger is going on the third fret, second string. So make sure you're super mastered with those chords. That means you can play the chord without having to look directly at the chord diagram. In the play along though, I will have the chords off to the side so you will know what you're supposed to be playing if you do need a glance really quick, but you really should have them memorized and have them in your muscle memory prior to moving forward. For a strumming pattern, we do not have a super repetitive strumming pattern throughout the entire song. The verse and the chorus are going to have different strumming patterns. So let's start with the chorus strumming pattern just because that's the easiest. For this song, we're gonna be using the island strum for our chorus. Chorus. The island strum, if you're not already familiar with it and just demonstrating on a D major chord, because that's where we start the chorus with, it's a down, down, up, up, down, up. Now we're gonna be playing this strumming pattern quite fast. The tempo of the song is pretty fast. So it's gonna be a down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then you're just repeating that over and over and over and over again. For the verse of this song, we're gonna be doing a strumming pattern that's a little bit long, but it's very, very similar to the island strum. Played on a G, we're going to be playing a full island strum, so a down, down, up, up, down, up. We're then going to play a down, down, up, then a down, down, and then a down, down, up, up, down, up, twice. So the entire strumming pattern all just played on a G sounds like this. We have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now played with the actual chords where you're changing, it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. What that first line for the verse sounds like is love is a burning thing that makes a fiery ring so mainly what you're going to 
you see here in the verse section is you're playing an island strum on the first chord of the line and then the chord in between, which is going to either be a C or a D for the verse, is where you're gonna be playing that down, down, and then you go back into an island strum. This is going to be the same pattern for the second verse as well. Now in the chorus, there's gonna be one Time where you're going to have to change chords in the middle of a string pattern and that's gonna be at the very very end of the chorus where it's the ring of fire the ring of fire so for that make an adaptation if you need to you could always change to just on the chord change if you need to or just on the beat but you will need to change chords in the middle of your string pattern if you're doing the regular string pattern so just as a little heads up now the only other time where we're going to be diverting from these string patterns is going to be during the intro and the musical interlude. Now ours is going to be a little simpler just because we don't have trumpets playing like you do in the uh, in the original song, but it's very, very similar to what you're playing for the verse. Demonstrated on the G, you're gonna have a down, down, up, up, down, up, then go down, 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 up, up, down, up and you're going to repeat that for the next G, D, G. So the entire intro, and this is what you're playing in the interlude section as well, it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, So essentially when you're playing a G, you're playing the island strum, and then when you're playing the C or the D, you're just going down, down. If any of that seems confusing, just check out the play along and you can see how it all fits together. Now, if those strumming patterns are too difficult for you, you could just play on a down strum on the beat or on the chord change. But with that, let's give it a play along. One, two, here we go and... notice at the end I just did a fade out you can just end with a G chord that's fine too or you can do a fade out like I did as well 
There is also an optional storming pattern that I have in the lead sheet for what you could do on that fade out to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, and like I said, you can find that on my Patreon. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. If there are other Johnny Cash songs that you absolutely love. Like I said, Folsom Prison Blues will be coming out later in this week as a play along, so you'll have that to look forward to. But if there are other tunes as well, let me know and I can look into making a play along or a tutorial for you. But otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye! The ring of fire, the ring of